Hi my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine so in this video let us once quickly analyze the previous year state level sslc preparatory examinations science question paper so you will get an idea that how your question paper will be in today's exam so without wasting much time let me continue the video see firstly when you look at the multiple choice questions they have asked reaction of calcium oxide with water is an example for i told you they will ask you one uh, the type of reaction based question so here the right answer is combination reaction calcium oxide when is combined with water okay so here combination is taking place as a result of it calcium hydroxide will be formed so the right answer is combination reaction so next question here so i quickly say the answer i don't give much importance for explanation so i'm just making you to analyze the type of questions in this video if the roots of plant are growing towards the nitrate region of the soil so then what type of tropism it is see as they are saying it as nitrate nitrate is nothing but the chemical so here the tropic movement is called as chemotropism plants are growing towards the nitrate nitrate is nothing but chemical so anything which is respond to chemical is happening in the tropic movement we will call it as a chemo so right answer is option d then related to focal length of a spherical lens here they have given a question the focal length of a spherical lens is right answer the distance between the optic center and the principal focus we will call it as focal length okay so moving to next see if they have given among the elements like uh, uh, for helium 2 among these elements so they have given among these elements the elements which belongs to the same period in the modern periodic table exactly i told you that one video if you watch related to groups and periods you can answer for this question see nitrogen and beryllium are in one it is one it is belonging to one period okay so helium is in the first period and nitrogen and beryllium is the second period and magnesium is in the third period so right answer is option b that is nitrogen and beryllium are in the one period that is they are in the same period so moving to next refractive index of four medium a b c d are 1.31 1.65 1.44 1 1.50 the velocity of the light is maximum in they have given about this question also i have already explained so here easily we can say option d is the right answer so in the medium a the velocity is more okay that is in the uh, 1.31 okay moving to next question that is identify the right pair among the following they have given so wing of bird and falling of horse wing of bat and falling of squirrel wing of bird and wing of butterfly fins of fish and wing of a bird so what kind uh, is a uh, you are to identify so whether any two or belonging to homologous or any two or belonging to analogous see if we look up the wing of bird and also wing of horse wing of bird and wing of horse see here the both are having the similar you know body structure but their functions are different okay so hence they can be considered as the homologous organs moving to next fourth question among the elements helium nitrogen magnesium and beryllium the elements which belongs to the same period in the modern periodic table i hope you all have seen that video which i posted to identify the groups and periods see helium is in the first period and nitrogen and beryllium is in the second period and magnesium is in the third period so here the right answer is option b nitrogen and beryllium are in the same period okay very simple question next refractive index of four medium a b c d are 1.31 1.65 1.44 1 1.50 respectively the velocity of high uh, the velocity of light is maximum in they have given see the velocity of light is maximum in 1.31 so that is in the medium a I have already explained about this particular concept in the previous question papers moving to next identify the right pair of the following see they have given homologous and also analogous organs here so which belongs to right pair see if you look at all these options wing of bird and four limb of horse they have similar origin and structure but they have different function so hence we will call it as homologous organs so here the right answer is option that is a 
okay so moving to next functional group related one question they will ask See the functional group present in ethanol. Very easy, guys. See, all, all is there means it is nothing but it belongs to CHO group. All is ethanol, that is aldehyde. Aldehyde is represented by CHO. Next, they have given one skill based question here. Very easy to identify. So, this type of question may be also asked in today's examination. See, diagram PQ uh, given below represents the gametes of human beings they have given. See, observe these gametes. If you look at this, it looks like this is XX chromosome and this is XY chromosome. You have to imagine when it look. See, they are same. That means it is XX. They are different. That will be XY. Okay. So, here among these, uh, the sex of the child is determined by and that they have given. So, the right answer is any one of the chromosome in the Q gamete. See, any one that is option C is right answer. Any one of the chromosome in the Q gamete. See here, this is P gametes and this is Q gamete. So here Q gamete, we have both X and also Y. Okay, that means this will be the chromosomes of the father. This will decide the sex of the child, whether it is girl or boy. If it is X, it is girl. If it is Y, it is boy. So you have to easily answer. You can easily answer this question. Just you have to think a little bit. Okay. Moving to next, see they have given one mark question. See, I'm just going to give the questions now quickly. You can revise that. You can expect some of the concepts in today's examination as well. See, answer the following. If we look at, they have asked, plane mirror is not used as a rear view mirror for vehicles. Why they have given? Because plane mirror do not cover a large area. Okay. So, always produces an image equal to its size of the object. That is the reason it is not used in the rear mirror view for the vehicles. Next 10th question they gave, see, name the plant hormones found in the ripening of fruit and wilting of leaves. Yes, obviously guys, see, wilting of leaves is nothing but it is inhibiting the growth. So, right answer here is abscisic acid. I told you in many of my videos related to plant hormones, one question will be given. So, next, balancing the chemical equation in yesterday's video, also I have told you. So, balancing the chemical equation related one question they will ask. So, they have given here uh, HGS plus oxygen gives rise to HGO plus SO2. So, how do you balance? Very easy. See, here you have to put two atoms of, uh, two atoms in front of HGS and here in front of this you have to put two. So, that now the sulfur is not balanced. So, you have to put two here. If you try this, definitely you will get. Uh, in, uh, of course, I have also taught you that how to balance the chemical equations in very simple uh, steps. See, if you did not understand this, just write the uh, number of uh, atoms present in the reactant side as well as product. See, here in the reactant, we have Hg and S and also oxygen. In product also, we have Hg, S and oxygen. So, after writing this, write the number of atoms. Here, oxygen, we have 2, sulfur 1 and uh, Hg1. So, here Hg1 uh, and also oxygen, 3 atoms we have and sulfur, we have 1. So, we have to first balance, okay. So, to balance that I told you, as I told you, how to write the numbers. So, if you write like this and apply the trial and error method. So, I don't take much of your time as you have exam. So, I think you know this method I have already trained you. Next, they have asked what is the dispersion of light. Very simple. See, splitting up of white light into constituent colors. This is called as dispersion of light. Next, I told you one law will be asked from periodic table. Here they have asked the uh, modern periodic law. That is nothing but properties of the element, periodic functions of their atomic number. Okay. Again, now it is a time to read the skill-based question. See, they have given two test tubes. Observe two test tubes. So, they have given in test tube A, crushed potato plus saliva. In test tube B, they have given only crushed potato. Here, what is extra added? Saliva is there. The question is, few drops of dilute iodine solution is added to both the test tubes. Blue color appears in the test tube B only. What change occurs in test tube A and Y? So, in test tube A, slightly we can see yellow color or uh, some kind of uh, orange-ish. This is because the enzyme saliva is there. No, salivary amylase present in the saliva. This converts the starch into simple sugars where in the test tube A. Okay. But in test tube B, when we drop the iodine, what happened? Iodine is directly reacting with the sugar to form slightly yellow color or the orange color. So, that is what. Is. 
what change occur in the test tube A they are asking. You want to write only about test tube A. Test tube B they only told that it will appear uh, the uh, what is that uh, blue color after adding the iodine solution. See in test tube A slightly yellow or orange color appears. This is because you know uh, there is saliva here. Salivary enzymes or salivary amylase present in saliva. It converts the starch into simple sugars. So when iodine react on the sugar what happen? Slightly yellow color or, or orange color will be seen in the test tube A. That is what the observation. See this is belong to live process lesson. So this activity is given in your textbook but the way of asking the question is different. Question number 15 if you see observe the structure of the given carbon compound decide whether is a, this carbon compound is saturated or unsaturated. See most of you will write unsaturated because by seeing the double bond. If you see this double bond is not between the carbon. If it is between the carbon only it is uh, that is unsaturated. So it is between oxygen uh, students you have to observe. See, between carbon and carbon we have single bond only. So that is the reason this is example for saturated not the unsaturated. Very uh, easily we can identify, identify misunderstand questions and write unsaturated. So if it is between the carbon and carbon it is unsaturated but here between carbon and carbon we have single bond so it is a saturated so next see name name the type of lens if its power is 0.2d find the focal length of the uh, lens they are asking so they are asking you to find the focal length first you have to write the given so already they have given power power is equals to uh, minus 2.0d so it's a concave lens okay you have to write power is power's formula that is p is equals to 1 by f quickly i will tell you then to find out focal length f is equals to 1 by p we are taking reciprocal of this so f is equals to 1 by p is nothing but now f is equals to f is equals to 1 by minus 2 okay so the decimal has now converted into fraction so now if we divide we, we will get focal length is equals to 0 0.5 m okay so this is the right answer very quickly i am telling i already told about this concept so next they have asked to draw a diagram showing the germination of pollen on stigma. So I told you from the lesson uh, how do organisms reproduce you may expect one diagram. So that will be always frequently asked uh, from the side of pollen tube. So here they have asked you to label the part where fertilization occur. So for that you have to write the answer as uh, you know inside the ovary. Okay inside the ovary only fertilization takes place. I think you know this diagram quickly I am writing see so this part you have to uh, label uh, for the part where fertilization occur and you know what is stigma this region is called as stigma okay so next 18th question see if the focal length of convex lens is 50 centimeter if an object is kept at a distance of 75 centimeter from then find the image distance and magnification produced by the lens they have given at least uh, students if you don't know anything first write given okay so here they have given focal length right f is equals to 50 centimeter focal length and they also have given u that is u is equals to 75 centimeter they have given the object distance u is equals to 75 centimeter so find out the distance of the uh, distance image distance and also the magnification they have given so you have to find out the image distance and also you want to find out the magnification so same question I have taught you in the previous one of the examination video. I think you have seen that. Okay. So by taking all these things you have to put the formula. I just tell the formula. So 1 by F is equals to 1 by V minus 1 by U. Okay. This formula you have to put and write the answer. So very easy. If you apply this formula you can solve. Okay. I am not explaining you entirely because you know this concepts. I am just uh, reminding you that what kind of questions may come. Okay, what is oxidation reaction? I told in previous video related to oxidation reaction in many exams they have asked a question. So first you have to write what is oxidation that is addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen and in the reaction which is oxidized which is reduced they have asked. Very easy which is oxidized which is getting added by oxygen that is oxidized. See aluminium now it is added by oxygen. So this is oxidized which is reduced see iron now it is reduced so this is reduced and which is a reducing agent I told you which is getting oxidized that is a reducing agent just reverse so now what happened aluminium is getting oxidized correct so now this is the reducing agent okay oxidized is added by oxygen 
reduced is removed by oxygen and reducing agent is now it is which is getting oxidized that is the reducing agent so one more they have asked here what is decomposition reaction name the products obtained so decomposition reaction you know that is single reactant undergo decomposition to forms two or more products name the products obtained when ferrous sulfate crystals are heated i told you one activity based question is asked see when ferrous sulfate is heated we get fe2o3 that is a ferric oxide we get ferric oxide plus a sulfur dioxide as well as the sulfur trioxide this is the toxic gas very very important and easy so next you can also expect see this kind of one uh, question i told you from the life process lesson uh, related to intestine or related to some gastric juices okay so that uh, related to that particular concept they ask question here the action of gastric juice and bile juice are complementary to each other for the efficiency digestion in humans okay so that is one question they have asked related to uh, the gastric juice and bile juice what can you answer see gastric juice contain the hydrochloric acid and also uh, the you know it is acidic in medium the food coming from the stomach is acidic it has to be made alkaline now bile juice creates the alkaline medium see please understand the question they are asking here action of gastric juice and bile juice are complementary that means they both are you know having some relation why because the gastric juice when it is been released by the stomach okay this is now acidic in medium so now the food which is in acidic medium has to be converted into alkaline medium so now what happen bile juice releases some kind of uh, secretions okay so which makes the food into alkaline medium so bile juice creates alkaline medium for the pancreatic enzymes to act that is what do the bile do bile juice do bile salts break down the large fats into smaller fat globules okay hence the action of gastric juice and bile juice are complementary to each other so if you don't want to attend this question you can also attend this question so the next question organism a and b here they have given and forms of stored food they have given see organism a stores the food in the form of glycogen organism b stores the food in the form of starch very easily we can say we have to identify the uh, group of organism see here organism a is heterotroph because we are the heterotrophs in our body the food is stored stored in the form of glycogen and organism b is autotrophs see in the autotrophs the food is stored in the form of starch so organism a is heterotroph organism b is autotroph you know what is autotrophs and heterotrophs right yes so now periodic classification of elements related one question definitely this kind of question you can expect in the exam so they have given electronic configuration of four elements here one is sodium one is sulfur aluminum and also potassium so what you want to write is you want to arrange these elements in the increasing order of their electronegativity electronegativity is nothing but tendency to gain electron okay so when we go from left to right what happen tendency to gain electron increases when we go from top to bottom tendency to gain electron decreases this one i told in my previous video many times because this is a very important concept so when we are so for so the first comes the potassium second comes the sodium third comes the aluminum and fourth comes the sulfur so very easy to arrange i think you know what is meant by electro positivity and electro negativity electro positivity is nothing but tendency tendency to lose electron electro negativity is a tendency to gain okay gaining increases across the period and decreases down the group so based on that i have arranged these elements i hope you know this concept so next one ray diagram based question will be asked here they have asked draw a ray diagram showing the position of image formed between the concave mirror when the object is placed between the center of curvature and also the principal focus so related to this i have already explained you one three marks fix question will be asked so here the image formed i'll tell you when object is uh, placed uh, between the center of curvature and principal focus image formed will be beyond c beyond the c image will be formed that is one important thing and image will be here enlarged because object size will be small image will be enlarged okay and it is a real image and also i told you if it is reverse it is inverted image okay very important to write the nature of image don't forget in today's exam so next they have asked which method do you choose to manage the sustainability in the living uh, environment of the following situations in daily life so very important see Uh, they are asking they are asking water during brushing teeth 
so how do you uh, manage this you will just turn off the tap during brushing the teeth so that what happen you can conserve the water next empty glass bottle see it is a skill based question or knowledge based question i can tell so empty glass bottle what you can do empty glass bottle is used to grow small plants you can keep the water for the birds you can use this bottle in different way next plastic bags given by shopkeeper refuse it refuse the plastic bag okay and then recycle we can recycle the broken plastic buckets i hope this is related to uh, sustainable management of natural resources this concept is reduced environment this kind of knowledge based question also can be asked next question number 24 they have asked to draw a diagram of simple electric generator i told i told you already they may ask you electric generator or electric motor i hope you have prepared for this concept easily you can score 2 or 3 marks so here they have asked for 2 mark now when we look at the 3 marks question see crop field a uh, forest aquarium lake classify these into natural and artificial ecosystem give four reasons to consider the garden as an ecosystem they have asked see uh, when we look at here the natural ecosystem is forest and lake very importantly you want to understand okay artificial ecosystem is crop field and also the aquarium because the forest and lakes are naturally made crop field and aquarium are made by humans that's it very simple answer next they have given what are the challenges that non biodegradable waste are posing creating a clean environment how does this changed lifestyle has increased this problem understand the question they are asking what are the changes that non biodegradable waste are posing to clean the environment so you have can you can easily write that non biodegradable waste causes the land and water pollution air pollution okay so and it also causes the bio magnification because increases the toxic substances and this non biodegradable means the substances which do not mix up with the soil okay they remain permanent in the soil and they harm various ecosystem you can write your own answers students so they are asking how these non biodegradable waste are creating problem okay how does the changed lifestyle increase in this problem they have asked so changed lifestyle if we look at you know um, we are using the plastic for many purposes okay and we are using the fertilizers and pesticides in large quantity this is how we have changed our lifestyle instead of eating the you know available food we are eating the ready made food so in such way what happened we are using more non biodegradable waste and we are putting fertilizers that is chemicals to grow plants okay they are all you know causing the effect to environment okay understand the question what they have asked they are asking how it is causing harm to environment and how our lifestyle is changing the problem it is causing the problem to environment this question draw a diagram of arrangement of apparatus showing the action of steam on metal okay this is from the lesson metals and non metals you can expect this diagram for 3 marks in today's paper as well or you can also expect the reaction of zinc granules with the dilute sulfuric acid question number 27 next question number 27 observe the following figure that is they have given you can see this is the parallel uh, resistance they have given so 10 ohm plus x they have given you have to identify x so here they have given r2 25 plus 75 now totally this is 100 ohm okay and uh, in the questions they have, they have given the total resistance given in the circuit is 20 ohm so by writing the given solve the sum i think you know this say one resistance based diagram that is the question will be asked next they have given the resistance of conducting wire x of length 1 meter is 5 ohm calculate the resistance of wire made by same material whose length is 4 times and the area of cross section is 5 times than that of wire x they have given okay so whatever is given again you have to write see first they have given the resistance of the wire that is uh, resistance of the conducting wire length is 5 ohm okay so first write r is equals to 5 ohm okay then write the conductive wire x of length length they have given right that is 1 meter okay so then you have to apply this formula r is equals to f1 by a apply this formula and also solve the sum so in this video i'm not explaining the entire sum students you can expect such type of questions please mentally be ready okay so next 28th question see they have asked one i told you yesterday's video only see this 
either related to male reproductive system or female reproductive system one question is asked here they have asked the function of ovary oviduct and uterus so ovary in the female it is you know it contains the female sex cells oviduct is called a site of fertilization and uterus is a muscular bag like structure it is helpful for the development of the fetus or embryo you can write okay very easy and then they are also asked how essential materials are supplied for the development of fetus see for developing fetus we have to supply the materials okay it is very essential because uh, you know only when we supply it is growing so and this material is supplied through a uh, tissue called as placenta placenta is a one connection which is between uh, the baby and mother and this is helping uh, to transfer the nutrition and also oxygen for the developing baby that is developing embryo understand the concept the questions very easy understand the concept and the next question they have given is from the metals and non metals so the atomic number of elements b and m are 12 and 17 respectively determine the molecular formula of the compound formed when these two elements react with each other explain the type of bond formed between these two elements with the help of electron dot structure they have given very easy see first 20 elements definitely you must know before going to exam element b with the atomic number 12 is magnesium and element m with the atomic number 17 is the chlorine very easy to identify see if you learn it is very 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 easy okay so now what they are asking determine the molecular formula of the compound form so magnesium and chlorine they combine to form a formula called as magnesium chloride mgcl2 will be formed so what you want to write is explain the type of bond see when there is transfer of electrons see between the magnesium and chlorine transfer of electrons takes place so as a result of it here the bond formed will be the ionic bond so easily now we got one and half marks see by identifying the elements and also by no, making the uh, type of formula created and the type of bond which is being created. So now finally what you have to write, you have to write the electron dot structure. Already I have thought this in my scoring package definite question it is either sodium chloride or magnesium chloride. See next to 30th question what is short sightedness they have asked. See short sightedness mentioned the reasons they have given. See short sightedness when a person can't see the distance object clearly distant object we can say it as a short sightedness or we can also call it as myopia but now this question you can skip because uh, you know uh, this particular concept is not there for this year examination that is human eye and colorful world concept is not there so 30th concept you can skip it so next how is the thyroid gland helpful for balancing the body growth they are asking see thyroid gland releases the hormone called as thyroxine hormone first of all you should know that so it regulates the carbohydrates, proteins and also fats. So that is how it is uh, related to the uh, growth of the body. Okay. And then explain the function of pancreas in endocrine system they have asked. See pancreas releases the insulin as an endocrine system. It releases the insulin. When it comes to digestion, pancreas releases pancreatic enzyme. But here they are asking as an endocrine gland. Endocrine gland means gland which adds a secretion directly into blood. Okay, so here the pancreas releases a uh, hormone called as insulin and this insulin hormone is directly enter into blood and it will control the blood sugar level. If you write so much, they will give marks. Okay, so next I have asked how does the action of action due to nervous tissues in, in the animals is directly different from the response to stimulus in plants they are asking. Okay, so here see in the animals information is carried through the nervous system only okay so that is with the help of electrical impulses so what they are asking they are asking about the plants here so how it is different from animals uh, towards the plants they are asking but in plants the plants also uses the electrical chemical means to convey the information from one cell to another cell okay so plant cells changes the shape by changing the amount of water in them the best example for this, uh, for this is mimosa pudica that is touch me not plant. Okay. So when we touch this plant what happened it will droop the leaves. It will fold its leaves. Why because there is electrical and chemical means of convey which has been transferring between the cells. That is why it will change the amount of water in them. So as a result of it what happened it will droop that means fold the leaves. This is how the plants will respond to stimuli. That means when we touch okay next 32 question that 
So next 30 second question, explain the method of producing the biogas in biogas plant. And nowadays use of solar cells is being encouraged. Justify the statement with suitable reasons. I have already shared today morning uh, the notes of the lesson sources of energy. Sorry for delaying first of all. Uh, I was not having the handwritten notes. So if you have read that uh, notes just as a revision, you can easily answer. See, related to biogas or solar cells, one question you can expect in the exam. So next 33rd so question they are asking is, draw a diagram showing the cross section of human heart they are asking. Okay. So human heart diagram, everybody know. Okay. So here they are asking walls that separate oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. So this is the wall. You can see if we look at this. This is the wall separating. This is called as a septum. Okay, septum you have to label for this particular point. Pulmonary artery, you know that it is present in this region. So you have to label that. Four marks easily you can get. Next, 34th question they are asking, state Joule's law of heating. 100% you will either get Joule's law or Ohm's law. Both you have to prepare. Either Joule's law or Ohm's law. Okay, so write the mathematical form of this law they are asking. Then they are also asking 200 joules of heat is produced in one second from the resistor of resistance 8 ohm. Find the potential difference across the resistor and its power. Okay. So given right and also solve the sum. I am not going to explain the entire sum here. The next 35 question they have uh, given one equation observe. By looking at the equation you want to answer. So name the compound X in the chemical equation form they are asking. So if you look at this equation easily you can say. Which equation? This is from the lesson acids, bases and salts. And how better you can answer? See, compound X is a major component of antacid. If it is an antacid, definitely it is a base, students. See, base, antacid, definitely the idea will be this is baking soda, that is sodium hydrogen carbonate, baking soda. Okay, easily you can say compound X formed is NHCO3. If you see acids, bases and salts in that lesson, this equation is there. Okay, explain the preparation of washing soda. See, by using baking soda, we will prepare the washing soda. How do we prepare? By recrystallization. See, by taking washing soda Na2CO3, we will add the water. So, when we add the water to this, what happened? We get Na2CO3, that is washing soda with 10 h 2 It is the hydrated washing soda. Okay, so sodium carbonate can be obtained by heating the sodium bicarbonate whatever this sodium carbonate is there no so this will be obtained by heating the sodium bicarbonate that means the baking soda we get in still easily i can say that is we get washing soda by heating the baking soda okay so very easy then they have also asked what are the gases liberated during the uh, when hydrochloric acid react with the zinc and zinc carbonate they are asking see when uh, hcl is reacting with the zinc when hcl is reacting with the zinc so this is a displacement reaction easily we can say see this is A, B and C. A combines with the C always. B is getting displaced. So the uh, uh, product formed here is zinc chloride and also hydrogen gas is liberated. Okay, this is the one equation. Next, when the zinc carbonate is, is reacting with the hydrochloric, uh, hy hydrochloric acid. See so zinc carbonate is a metal carbonate. It is reacting with the acid. I already told you. When metal carbonate react with the acid, what happened? Carbon dioxide gas will be definitely released. Okay. So here the product form is again zinc chloride and also carbon dioxide gas and also water is formed. So this particular equation belongs to, that is when metal carbonate react with the acid. Definitely carbon dioxide gas is released. Further, still if they ask this question, carbon dioxide is passed to lime water. So lime water will become milky. Okay, when we pass excess of carbon dioxide, what happened? That white color also get faded. So this is all about this question. And 36th question, they are asking, what are the reasons of overloading the uh, electric circuit? Earthing is necessary for the appliances with metallic body. Then explain the method of preparing electromagnet. How do you test the poles of electromagnet with the help of uh, magnetic compass? So physics questions, I already, Ripa ma'am already told you, you can expect this concept and all. From hereditary and evolution question C, one uh, four mark question they have asked. Mention the tools to have been uh, used for tracing the evolutionary relationship. Already I told you. Tools. See whenever tools and taban takshna you have to write it is a time dating. Time dating is the one tool. And next excavating. Excavating is the another tool. Okay. And also study of fossils. 
so these are the tools which are been used for tracing the evolutionary relationship okay and also you can write determining the dna sequence so if you write so much you will get easily two marks okay only one one word next how do genes control the characteristics of tallness just write the first checkerboard right check checkerboard so tallness they have given capital t capital t tall now you have to think if it is dwarf it is small t small t so write capital t small t write capital t and small t you all know capital t capital t when it cross we get this and when we cross we get capital t small t then small t capital t and also small t small t so what can we infer here the phenotypic ratio is first of all 3 is to 1 okay among this what happened we have uh, three tall plants and also one dwarf plants so here capital t small t this is the one okay it is you know uh, showing that the capital t is a dominant trait dominant trait always dominate over the recessive trait okay if you write so much you will get and the last question they are asking from the you know uh, carbon and its compounds but this year carbon and its compounds uh, substitution combustion reaction is not there so you don't have this topic write chemical equation for the above reaction they are asking can methane be subjected to addition reaction so so very very important see this particular topic is actually not there but about methane if you ask you should know the molecular formula of methane structural formula and also electron dot structural formula so this is all about the previous year uh, you know state level preparatory examination question paper if you read question you will get an idea that how or what kind of question may come okay so i hope this video is useful before going to exam so to recall some concept and also to know what kind of questions may be asked in the examination so thank you so much so today afternoon i will be coming up with the uh, your key answer video of sslc preparatory examination which is conducted on uh, that is today okay until then take care bye bye and all the best for your examination all the students do well in the examination